All right, welcome back, everyone. Lots on the menu there uh, from uh, what I just set out. Uh, family, uh, school, jobs, training. Melissa, where would you like to start? Let me jump in at that education bit because you are so dead on. We have all these people going off to school and loading up on debt to get a degree in literature. I was at the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show this week. They are desperate for workers. And it, it's not what you think. I mean, it is plumbing, but it's whatever it is you do. You're an artist. You're a computer designer. You want to do programs that are going to bring things to life. You want to, you know... The robots of the future connecting yeah. to the Internet, the Internet, whatever it is, you can have a great paying job at this industry. They are desperate. They have five workers every year leave and only one comes back in. The problem is the training and nobody is training anyone for these jobs. Now, these companies are desperate to come in and partner with the schools and train people for the jobs. But there's a lot of hurdles there with government and with getting the whole thing started and, and knowing how to fit in. Yep. You have to have a teacher's union that's open to it. We see where that goes. But I mean, this is the, these are great paying jobs in industry yes. that wants to do we have the a training. labor shortage. Nobody's getting trained yeah. for the right uh, job. I think Melissa is spot on. But but in our community, in Wausau, Wisconsin, we need more kids going into manufacturing. And a lot of our manufacturers were looking to government for a solution to the, the populist revolution. And it didn't happen. So they took it upon themselves. All the manufacturers got together and they started the heavy metal tour. Right. And they went to high schools and middle schools yeah. and got the kids and their parents to go tour the facilities and get kids interested in manufacturing. I and love they that. saw more kids going into this field, which was awesome. And it's a private sector partnering with the schools. And the biggest problem they had was counselors that were directing kids away from manufacturing yes. and into a four-year degree. And, in, and once they're done, they come back and they get that welding degree that they should have had at the, uh, at the outset. And just one last point on education. And those, you, you mentioned so many great things. But we have to stop teaching our kids this crap. Let's teach them useful skills. Let's teach them history and math and science. But there's such a liberal progressive agenda being pushed on our kids that goes into the middle Which, school. By the way, we're going to see a, yeah. a bit of um, in, in our next topic uh, yeah. coming up after the next break uh, in relation to Diane Feinstein and climate change. So it's oh, yeah. exactly so that right. point. <laughs> Tammy. Yeah, I think like in your opening, what you noted, of course, is this what's effectively is class warfare. Instead of conversations about the nuts and bolts, about how do we lift people up individual by yes. individual, it's it's complaints about the super rich and billionaires yeah. because it's always for the left f from, you know, f for over 100 years. It's about chopping the heads off of the tall poppies that brings some what they see as equity they, it, because it's, it's easier. It's hard work to bring up everyone else. Yes. And it's easier to just make it appear as though there's an equality by chopping off those other heads. But what you also have then with class warfare is, of course, a distrust. And it, and it maintains a division in, in America, which fortunately I think we, we have resisted because we have a lot more in common than the legacy media and uh, the establishment wants you to think. But that's what they've relied on. Uh, education, as we call it, has facilitated that. They come out hating conservatives, hating Republicans, uh, hating yeah. straight white men. All of that is so that you even look at your neighbor or even your family with suspicion. Remember, what was Hillary's main complaint also was that White women were taking the orders of the men in their lives, I know. of their, their husband or their son. You remember that? I, I don't know all what these women this, are she's talking about. All of this rhetoric, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> all of this rhetoric has been meant to have women look at the men closest to them with suspicion. All of this, there is a method to their madness, and it's to keep people divided. None of their answers involve the nuts and bolts of really improving individual lives. They will resist it, and it's why the Republicans... Yeah, look, I'm, so, I'm so shocked. We've got to go. We've got, sure. we can, it's, it's so much to talk about. I really appreciate the conversation. 